1911, one of Frank Lloyd Wright's students completed his largest project. That home, now the Hoiberg Civic Center in Rock Island, retains most of the original features. Standing atop a wooded hillside, this home has connections to some of the best known names of an American architectural movement. Finished in 1911, the house was a gift to Suzanne Deckman. Her father built each one of his five daughters a home so they could be independent and self-sufficient. She wanted Frank Lloyd Wright to build the home, but her father said no to that because uh, he had quite a reputation with the ladies and he drank as well. So she had one of his co-workers, Spencer, build the home. For a time, Robert Spencer had his office next to and later shared one with Frank Lloyd Wright. This home, while not as dramatic as some of Wright's designs, is nonetheless a product of the prairie style movement. Here Spencer used as a decorative accent throughout the building and on the leaded glass windows, stylized tulips. The tulip was Miss Dinkman's favorite flower and it's a symbol of love. And Spencer had a theme for each one of his homes and he chose the stylized tulip for her home. And it's in almost every room. The living room we call the tulip room because it has over 300 tulips in it. They're in the ceiling, uh, the furniture, and the walls. Upon the home's completion, it was in this room where Suzanne married a local attorney named John Halberg, who she met during construction. The tulip room has an organ. In fact, Mrs. Halberg used it at her wedding. The sound is amazing. It goes all over the whole building. There's an echo chamber on the hallway going to the second floor, and you can even hear the organ in the attic and uh, servants' quarters and every place. The mantle in the uh, tulip room is not original to the house. The original one was uh, a prairie style, but they, the family traveled extensively after they were married, and they were in a castle in England and saw this mantle and had it brought back. It has Aesop's fable on it. The fox wanted a glass of water, and it couldn't reach the water in the vessel. So the um, crane dropped pebbles in and raised the water level so it could have a drink. Another change to the home's design came about because of a visit. The Prince of Sweden came to visit. The original driveway to the house winds up around the back of the house. But Mrs. Hallberg didn't want him to be insulted coming up the back way, so she made a big circular driveway in the front just for his visit. The original driveway wound its way past the plantings and ponds designed by Jens Jensen, who Suzanne hired to landscape the property. Although he was already well known at the time, he's now considered the dean of prairie style landscaping. The house has strong horizontal lines in there. So the original landscaping used a lot of trees that would flatten out to create such as hawthorns which tend to come up and then flatten out like this and picked up the horizontal lines of the house and the trellises and arbors and stuff like that. Now this area right behind us was more into a formal type uh, on the hillside with pathways, which we can still find. We've actually fixed some of them up. And arbors, the overhead, huge arbors overhead where people could walk down and the pictures that show them walking through it in their long dresses. The pond system was actually pretty creative and it still works in that regard is that and the overflow from the system ran into the ponds and then the overflow from the upper ponds went down the hill through a whole series of ponds and ends up in uh, uh, quite a large pond that's now filled in, but we have pictures where you show them fly fishing in that pond. After their parents moved on, the Halberg children decided to donate the estate to the city of Rock Island, provided that it remained open as a park and a meeting place for cultural and civic organizations. Any civic or nonprofit group is welcome to use it, but we also have usage for parties. Uh, anyone can have a wedding in a prairie style home, and then we have uh, business retreats. To contact the Hoyberg Civic Center, call 309 732 2132.